Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, sometimes hair, so if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. And of course, come and follow me on Instagram where I post things that you aren't gonna see over here on YouTube. Anti-aging is a term that I don't hate, but I do feel there is a better way to describe a product that reduces slash slows down the signs of aging or premature aging. Of course, there is nothing wrong with getting older. We, we all have to do it. <laughs> it's just the vast majority of us want to look either the way we do now or maybe just a few years younger. What I do hate is the absolute bull claims that comes with anti-aging moisturizers, creams, serums, the advertising around it, so these patented formulas, um, stem cell technology. In fact, the FDA doesn't even recognize over-the-counter anti-wrinkle creams to have any medical value, meaning studies haven't been done like these brands. If they want to be FDA approved, they have to prove that their products can reverse or halt the signs of aging. They need evidence to back up these anti-wrinkle claims which they don't have, which is fine. But another issue um, is that even though these creams will contain effective enough ingredients to help prevent the signs of aging, they're often not in high enough concentrations to have much effect. And these products are just so expensive. There are things you can do to help prevent the signs of aging, reverse some sun damage, which is one of the main signs of aging as well. So today I'm gonna to personally share what I do, what I'm doing, and what I have done in the past to kind of hopefully freeze my face. So in fear of sounding like a broken record, sunscreen. We know what sunscreen can protect us against, but the sun is actually one of the biggest causes of premature aging. You'll notice that people who sunbathe regularly go on sunbeds regularly as well, start to age quicker. Their skin looks drier, they have um, worse pigmentation, their pores can look slightly bigger too. It causes sunspots, obviously. It reduces the elasticity in your skin. And you know, you can have all your fancy serums, you can have all your expensive creams, but if you're not protecting your skin from the sun, the main cause of premature aging, there's no point, you're wasting your money. So just please put on sunscreen. Even if anti-aging isn't a big deal for you, it's not for everyone, people don't care, but skin cancer, uneven skin tone in general, but just please use it. <laughs> talked about before I'm going to get these out the way is double cleansing. Now I know I talked about double cleansing before as a method to get rid of um, day sweat, sunscreen, anything else that may be on the surface of, of your skin um, before you go and give your skin a deeper cleanse. This is less about removing what's on your skin and more about the motion of what you're doing with your skin when you cleanse. So I personally like to use an oil cleanser first because it means there's less scrubbing and tugging and pushing on your skin when it does come to using your um, water-based cleanser. There's this idea that obviously repeated muscle movement, like smiling or frowning, can lead to um, fine lines and wrinkles. In fact, it's not an idea, it's definitely what happens. But the idea behind being more gentle with your skin is that if you're using an oil cleanser first, your hands are gliding over your face and you're removing all that dirt with very, very minimal kind of tugging and pushing on your skin. If you're kind of scrubbing away at your sunscreen or makeup, I don't know if you wear makeup with just a normal cleanser, you're kind of doing this. You know, you're doing, you're rubbing it everywhere, you're pushing, you're like folding. So the idea is that doing this on a daily basis, look how I'm pushing up my cheeks, is gonna lead to the same kind of um, indentations, you know, the same kind of like, um, the same kind of fine lines and wrinkles. I'm not sure how much scientific backing this has, but it's one thing I've seen a lot of dermatologists and aestheticians all agree on. And you know what? I love a double cleanse, and if that could potentially make my wrinkles worse quicker, I'm gonna avoid it. Let's talk about our neck and hands as well. I'm sure we all know the saying that you can tell a person's age by looking at their neck. And this is very, very true. You can see someone with fillers and Botox or facelifts or whatever, but if you look at their neck and their hands, you can really tell what their true age is or your hands can actually age a lot quicker because you do so much with them. Everything from washing your face every day, washing up in the sink, you need to look after them. For your neck, I feel like it's super simple to care for. Um, everything you do to your face, you do to your neck. I think that's 
pretty straightforward. Cleanser, toner, essence, serum, moisturizers, SPF can all just be brought down onto and around your neck, even further down here onto your shoulders, your uh, decolletage, I believe it's called, just all around here. It does add a little bit extra time to your routine, but if you're like me and you spend time on your routine anyway, it doesn't really matter. As for your hands, you can really do the same as well. So you know, splashing on your toner, just do that on your hands. Same with serum, essence, moisturizers. Well, you could use a hand cream. Um, but one thing I like to do is when I use a sheet mask, all that excess serum in the pouch, I like to squeeze out and just rub on my hands like a hand cream, then follow that up with a hand cream. It does make such a big difference, especially in winter when your hands can get dry and almost painful. I don't think we could do an anti-aging video without talking about retinoids. I'm very new to retinoids. So retinoids are a form of vitamin A. They enhance collagen production and the general renewal of your skin. And it's actually the only proven ingredient that can actually penetrate into your skin and stimulate new collagen production, which is pretty cool. And that is, of course, a factor that helps our skin looking youthful, plump, wrinkle, and fine line free. I was very, very scared of retinols because it, it seems like such a process you have to go through. So, you know, you obviously have to build up your tolerance to them. Um, they can be very drying. And it was a little bit confusing, um, but I just bought one. Uh, a weaker, what I thought was a weaker strength one, and started using it once a week, and then built up my tolerance to twice a week, which is where I'm at now. So yeah, it's kind of like a patience thing. You have to take your time. Um, obviously, I don't know if it's making a difference because I mean, not like flattering myself, but I don't look that old yet. <laughs> and I've not seen a general improvement in my complexion yet. Again, it is not too bad anyway in general, but we'll see. We'll see later on down the line, but I'm still very, very early days, but is one of the only proven ingredients that can genuinely help with the signs of aging. One of my favorite ingredients, niacinamide. Whilst I always talk about it in the sense that it helps even out skin tone, um, everything from hyperpigmentation to the overall appearance and brightness and wellness of your skin. It's also known to help retain moisture. So niacinamide can actually help kind of um, renew and restore your skin's surface to help it retain moisture, preventing your skin from becoming dry, flaky, dehydrated even, and generally keeping our skin moisturized and nourished gives our skin that more youthful, plump look. It can make a huge difference if you moisturize twice a day. It doesn't have to be an anti-aging moisturizer or a moisturizer of anything fancy in it, just a good hydrating moisturizing moisturizer. You'll find niacinamide in serums, you will find it in moisturizers too, but my favorite way of getting niacinamide is in an essence form. I just find these super hydrating. They really do make your skin look brighter and refreshed, and essences are known as a good anti-aging product as well. Generally helping fight fine lines and wrinkles. So that's what I'm currently doing at the moment. I have to be honest and say that anti-aging or age prevention isn't something I'm massively worried about at the moment. I have just hit my 30s, so maybe it is something I should be taking a little bit more seriously, but I feel like I'm taking all the right steps anyway. As I mentioned, this is only what I'm personally doing and what works for me. So anything that you enjoy doing to take these steps towards um, premature aging, ingredients you love, exact products you love, leave it all in the comments box box below. Um, I'm going to leave products that I'm using in the description down below as well. So yeah, this was kind of more of a check-in of what I'm doing and my opinion on it because I'm being asked a lot of questions about anti-aging recently. Age prevention. What can we use instead of anti-aging? Let me know. But check out this video to the side here, my latest video and the one down below that's been recommended just for you. But that's it for me now, guys. I will see you next time.